so now I will try to show you uh, some uh, problems which can which can happen uh, if uh, if there is air leaking through the barrel. So if you can hear that through the barrel uh, there is an air leaking, so it can be problem with the needle of the valve. It is inside the tube, inside the air tube, and if there is a leaking inside, there is inside the air tube, there is a small hole. And if you can see that there is air leaking, so maybe you must change the O-rings on the regulator. These are two, uh, I can say that these are two most common things which can happen, but it's nothing uh, normal. Um, but if you can, if you can, if you will meet uh, this problem, so now you can see how to solve it. I will show it to you on uh, this standard model but uh, it is almost same on the tactical ones just the, the, the uh, disassembling of the gun is a little bit different but uh, you can you can uh, you can solve it very easily so at first we must unscrew uh, these two screws of the side lever So one screw, then the second one. Then you can take out the screws. And take out the side lever. It is because you must take out uh, the, uh, the wood stock. There is also two screws which must be unscrew. So the main one in the grip. Then the second one in the fore end. When you have them, so you can take out the wood stock. Now also unscrew the silencer. So take out the silencer and the shroud. Then uh, we must we must if if the if the air tube is full, so we we must uh, take out the air, and it's easy. Uh, here it is it is space for the filling pin, you can see, and if you turn it a little bit, so there is a screw for unfill. So just. Unscrew it a little bit. And then you must wait. Then also, there is a four screws which must be unscrewed. So all of them unscrew and take off, take out them. Yeah. First one. So 
second. Third one and the fourth. So now we just waiting uh, when uh, the tube will be empty and we can continue. So now when the tube is empty I can unscrew it. So unscrew the tube. There is a big thread so um, it will take some time. Please be sure that uh, the tube must be empty. So now it is unscrew and I can take it out. So and now how to take out uh, the regulator from the inside of the tube. So uh, we must connect uh, we must connect uh, the tube with the with the bottle with the pressure bottle. Then, um, like use, you can use the pillow or something, uh, and then you just uh, uh, turn on a little bit air, not too much because it can shoot, but a little bit air now. And you can see. And the regulator is out now, so we can start with the regulator. So now when uh, the regulator is out, so you can change the o-rings. If there is air leaking through the small hole, you can see in each gun there is a really small hole. If there is air leaking through this hole, so uh, you must change the O-rings on the regulator, which is uh, normally in each package of each air gun. If you want to grow the power, so you can take the regulator like this. From the button of the regulator, you can use a normal screwdriver, hold it, and then with some needle or something, you can turn You can turn this. Uh, if you go for the right side, you will uh, increase uh, the pressure on the regulator. If you go to the left side, you will decrease the uh, pressure on the regulator. So if you want to uh, make higher uh, power of the air gun, you, you must turn it to the right and increase uh, the pressure on the regulator. When you change the O-rings and everything is clear on the regulator, you must uh, put it inside. On the maximum, ah, there is a break, so to the break, then you will put it this part the iron cycle inside. Then, as I said, if there is air leaking through the uh, through the barrel, so we must change the needle. Uh, you must unscrew this part. So just unscrew it, and then unscrew it all. When it is unscrewed, so inside you can see there is a spring, which is normally without any problems, and then mm, there is a there is a needle. 
sometimes it can happen that the plastic parts of the needle, even uh, the plastic is uh, high quality plastic, POM, it can be damaged and you must change it. So if you need the needles, just let me know and I will supply you. And it's uh, just take it out and put inside the new one and then the air leaking problems will be solved. It's very easy. It's just two uh, normal problems, which can be O-rings on the regulator or this needle. But uh, you can see that uh, the changing of this needle isn't uh, very complicated and uh, it's not common problem. You know, it's uh, like our warranty issues are uh, less than 1% uh, of all the production you will see that uh, the quality of the Taipan is very stable and no needs um, any, any, any uh, warranty troubles. So uh, now we can, we can assemble it. So we will put inside the new needle. Then the spring. And then we will screw it again. You can see nothing special, nothing complicated. So just screw it. Then you can you can make it tight. And then all the things you will make. So you will. So you will. Don't forget this iron part or iron ring, which now drop me down. So put it inside, and then you will screw it, and it's finished. Everything is solved.